basketball here with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. I'm Kevin Harlan. All right, guys, this was a requested game, so let's do this. So Golden State will get the first possession. Now Golden State's starting five. Thompson and Barnes, the two and three. Down low, it's Green and Bogut, and it's Curry in at the point guard. Now here is Bogut. Uh, come on, Bogut. Last season, Andrew Bogut was able to say that he was the healthiest he's been in years. And that might not seem like much, but it makes a huge difference for him to be at full strength. Middleton dishes to Carter Williams. Shot clock at six. Parker drives in. Beat the shot clock, but it's off the Good line. defense. And with Bogut feeling 100 percent, you know, he had so many injuries over the years leading up to last season that it was hard for him to, to really find himself once again. But when he's 100 percent, he's really a force in the middle. Now here's Green. Passes it to Thompson. Oh, oh my gosh. Carter Williams. Pass to wants to Kumbo. Dishes to Parker. Parker right side. Six on the shot clock. Milwaukee needs to get off a shot here. And stolen by Barnes. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Thompson with the ball. How about that nice one-two punch there, guys? Great defensive play, and of course, it leads to the great basket in transition. Love the attacking style there, Steve. And with Bogut, as you said, I think people forget just how impactful he can be when healthy. Everyone knows that he's an amazing defender. Oh, I didn't transition over. I should have. To have a legitimate seven-footer who can move and pass the ball as well as Bogut does, that does wonders for a team at both ends of the floor. Here's Curry after the basket by Milwaukee. Green with a screen for Curry. Out to the right wing. Golden State moving the ball around. And Thompson kicks to Bogut. Here's Green. Come on, Green. Yes, good shot. Here's Middleton. Kicks it to Carter Williams. Here's Pachulia, covered by Bogut. They get a good pass. defense. That's an easy shot there. That's a shot that he should make more often than not. Out left of the wing. Nobody near Barnes. Oh, come on. The Bucks train. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played, Carter Williams kicks to Middleton. Feeds it to Antetokounmpo, and there's the pass to Middleton. He dishes it to Antetokounmpo. Wing shot on the way. Middleton can't get it to go. You know, Golden State historically has always been a dangerous offensive team, but it's really their defensive improvement that triggered their elevation into the upper echelon of the NBA now. Now, here's Curry. Plays it up and banks it in. Well, some weak defensive coverage there, and I'm pretty sure they didn't plan on starting this game out like that, giving such easy access to the rim. Here's Middleton. 132 left in the first quarter. Over to the wing. Parker with no one around. Hangs home the trifecta. Parker's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And the defensive improvement for Golden State has kind of been piece by piece. They've had the right strategy and motivation, certainly, from the coaching staff. And obviously, Steve, a healthy Andrew Bogut has helped. Yeah, I'm just impressed with what they've done the last couple of years in terms of their attitude. Their, All right, let's keep this shit going, though. Uh, the, the mindset to become more defensive-minded and a much better rebounding club as well. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Milwaukee. Different look here for the Warriors. Spates checked in for Bogut. Igudala comes in for Barnes. Leandro Barbosa, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. And it's Livingston in for Steph Curry. Here is Damn it. Good double team. 
There's 53 seconds left here in the first quarter. All right, we can win this jump ball, I'm confident. And the Warriors with possession here. Warriors leading by three. Livingston kicks to Barbosa. Igudala outside. Green, the pass to Livingston. The dish to Spates. Five on the clock. And it's Golden State. Oh, nice shot, Spates. 29 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Now Bayless. He kicks to Mayo. Here's Henson. Out of bounds, Golden State takes Oh, I kind of wonder if that if there should have been a foul called there. I mean, there was contact. So there probably should have been a foul called there. But they didn't call it. There are actually a lot of animations like that that do need to have foul calls. I don't know, 2K just has to put the time into it, I guess. Takes the 13 footer again. Golden State. Good shot, Maurice Spates. That big height advantage. Get the shot off. Well, it's hard to put a big man on him, Steve, that far from the hoop. I mean, he's versatile. Oh, if he would have made that, I would have been so pissed. <laughs> and that concludes the first quarter of play. Warriors ahead. They lead by seven. And we'll get it going after this from the Bradley Center. the second quarter beginning in just a moment and the Warriors guys what jumps out to you in this game uh, stats wise yeah the defense has been terrific they came out right from the beginning alert and focused and they've been really good at that end of the floor and I think coach has to be pleased with the effort Steve OJ Mayo a smooth long-range shooter with deep range when he gets going he can put up some big numbers so on the floor for Golden State to begin this second quarter Marbos why were you facing that way Livingston then there's Iguodala. Then there's Maurice Spates. And it's Azili in at the five spot. And here are the Warriors now. It's a five point game. And Mayo, six foot four, coming to the league. Some thought he could play the point guard position. Yeah, but he's not a great penetrator or playmaker. And those are two things you have to do as a point guard. I think he's truly a shooting. Oh, he's flopping. And the Warriors tack on two more. And they're making a statement here, guys, going inside for eight of their last ten points. Time to man up on D and stop these free runs to the rim. Here is Bayless. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Dudley with a screen on Barbosa. Dudley with it. Barbosa picks him up. Shot clock at five. Here's Bayless. Oh, he got past me. Shit. Bayless has got his first basket. Still trailing, but their offense is off life support here in the second quarter. It's got a pulse. Yeah, they're making some shots now, Clark. Finally starting to make up some ground. Now, here is Barbosa. Pass to Iguodala. Maurice Spades has been doing good, so I kind of want to... I guess I won't be giving it to him. Iguodala kicks to Barbosa. To the right side. Shoots from 12. Come on, Spades! Here we go. Off the back iron and down it falls. Spates has got the lead up to seven now for the Warriors. Here is Bayless. I believe Spates has six points. If I'm not mistaken. We're about two minutes in. Right side, Mayo. The feed to Ilias Ova. Well, I was ready for that pass. It's rebounded by Livingston. Warriors leading by uh oh somebody just got hurt. You know, last year the Bucks knew that to make the playoffs would be a real stretch. Oh no! No no no! I do not want that. They had got to the playoffs, but it just goes to show you things change quickly. Here is Bayless. Passes it to Mayo. Dudley with a screen for Mayo. Here is Bayless. Stay on him, Miggy. Stay on him, Miggy. Stay on him, Miggy. And so he draws the Good job, Doug. All right, I'll take that. To shoot two. Jared Bayless, a combo guard out of Arizona. Very athletic. More of an offensive-minded player. You know, he had his best season back in 2011-12 with the Raptors. But his shooting percentages have fallen.
off. Since then, here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Pachulia. He's checked in for Hanson. Parker comes in for Ilyasova. And Ida Dekumpo's checked in for Jared Dudley. And Middleton subbed in for O.J. Mayo. Now here's Curry. An easy layup after coming off the pit. Curry's got his second basket of the game. And Clark Bale is still in his mid-20s, but last season, arguably his least efficient scoring win. How can he turn it around? Well, it's about shots. Ah, he's shit! He's got to on taking better shots. Open threes and layups to get that efficiency up. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, guys, David Lee is one of the more skilled power forwards in the NBA. He credits his skill level in part to growing late. He said, I wasn't always the biggest Turn the fuck winner. around, damn. I was actually a point guard my freshman year of high school. I played some wing and some at guard. Kevin, he kept those skills as he grew. For the best passing <laughs> big man. Okay, I'm just getting some lucky ass bounces here. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. There's a good screen. Ande Takumbo kicks to Bayless. Dishes it to Pachulia. Six to shoot. Oh, I got it. No, what? Here's Middleton. He's covered by Thompson. Middleton can't get it to go. Warriors leading by seven. Curry dishes to Barnes. Thompson outside. Bogut with a screen on Parker. Curry wide open. Oh, come on. Bogut. Get it. Outside for Curry. Barnes passes to Thompson. Outside Curry. Back to Thompson. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. His presence is very comforting for this team. He's kind of a fallback option for them anytime they need it. And Bayless kicks to Middleton. From the line. Warriors with the rebound. Here's oh, if anybody make it, it'll be Curry. So ah. That'll do it for the first half. Warriors lead by nine. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke. Damn it. By courtside. Thank you, Kevin. Steph, what's been the key to what's working well out there for you guys right now? Defensive end, we rebound the ball, keeping him off the glass, and uh, being able to execute an offensive end. Steph, thank you so much. Plenty of ingredients to a solid effort, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you. And we'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. guys showing the Milwaukee Bucks what the hell oh, oh okay Andrew Bell get three rebounds oh and then you go back to the Bucks okay totally and the third quarter about ready to get underway Trail by nine. And introduced last season here at the Bradley Center, a new playing court with the giant M's on each half. Ah. Mimics details of the old pop art court they played on back in the 70s and 80s. They've got Pachulia. Carter Williams is out there with Chris Middleton. That's and okay. There's Antetokounmpo. And it's Parker in at the fourth line. That's box. the five to begin the second half for Jason Kidd. Yeah, last season with the new court, it was too slippery at first, something to do with the matte finish. The Bucks had to take a few weeks to resurface it with a gloss finish and had it ready for the home opener. Now here's Curry. Now here's Barnes. Count that one. Harrison Barnes. And the Warriors I haven't seen Harrison Barnes do that before, but I'll take it. a difficult shot to defend, that turnaround. 
And guys, you'll love how the new court really embraces Milwaukee. Yeah, it's a great design, Kevin. Very unique in its appearance. And I hear Zaza Petunia bought the old court to install in his basketball academy in the Republic of Georgia. That's so, a great story. Yeah, really good story. And no resurfacing needed. Shots good by Middleton. You start hitting a few of those mid-range shots, and it can open up your whole game. Warriors leading by six. And Curry, here we go. Well, as you know, there Damn, there is no way. In sports. Last year, Steph Curry was actually voted as the most trustworthy player in the league. You talked about trust in Steph Curry. It, it seemed he was able to trust his ankles a bit more last year. Yeah, that had been a big concern. Repeated ankle sprains. Part of the reason the Warriors were able to sign him to such a bargain extension. But when healthy, clearly an all-star and all-league player. It's early, but you can already make a case for Curry as one of the best shooters of all time. Really, it's a combination of his ability to hit shots, but also his ability Good to stop. his own shot. Very rare to have both those abilities. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Oh, look who's wide open. Taking over his oh, come on, Thompson. His focus is on creating sustained success. He said, we've got a chance to be really good for the next Oh, good. Let's just take a swing every year and be consistent with our efforts, and we'll have our chances. And we get to watch them, yes, Kevin. Sir. Looking to build something that'll last. Thank you, Doris. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they want to be aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in yeah, transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling right. the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. So it's the Bucks now. Following the score by Golden State. Here's the three. Rebounded by Bogut. Bogut's got four rebounds now tonight. And if you do consider Curry to be the greatest shooter already, you're in good company. Last season, Kevin Durant Clark gave his opinion. Oh, fuck. Oh. The best. Yeah, you know, this is going to be debated by people for a long time, and I don't know where the answer is going to land. Uh, but Curry definitely is in the equation already. With his Come on, Curry. Ah! Shot and it's oh, okay, good job, Bogut. And now a 12-point Warrior lead. You've got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. Well, they've done a lot of things right, but I agree with you, Clark. Their rebounding is right there at the top of the list. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Well, Andrew Bogut possesses really great size and above-average athleticism. Well, we're but doing I really good. think it's his basketball IQ that sets him apart. He's got outstanding instincts, especially at the defensive end of the floor. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Henson checked in for Pachuli. Dudley comes in for Andre Tacumbo, and it's Mayo in for Chris Middleton. Carter Williams. I should have helped. I don't know why I just stood there and watched. I should have helped. Screen, and that's why it turned into the easy basket. We talk about Bogut's IQ of the game. Steve, a great passer offensively. No, Curry. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, shit. He screens. He understands angles. He's got a lot of veteran tricks about him. You know, things that maybe the referees don't catch. So a guy who can really help your team win. Now here's Carter Williams. Parker outside. Back to Carter Williams. Dudley dishes to Parker. Six to shoot. And Dudley kicks to Mayo. From deep three-point range, Steph Curry with the rebound. Steph Curry with rebound. Three rebounds so far in the game. Harrison Barnes all by himself. Oh, my gosh. Trail by 10. Pass to Mayo. There's 117 left here in the third quarter. Oh, he got it. That's right, you ain't got no pancake mix. Here's Come on, Barnes. Thank you. Barnes has got the lead up to 12 now for the Warriors. Really good awareness right there on the assist. Here's Carter. No. And count the basket. Pitch. All right, it's okay, Draymond. Well, they found the touch here in it's the second right, half from the field. And shoot everything else we talk about, folks, rebounding, defense, all of that, this game is still about making shots. You got to put the ball in the basket. That's the bottom line. And they found a way to do it here in the second half. And the Warriors making a change here. Livingston's checked in. Here is Livingston. 
He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Spates with a screen on Carter Williams. The kick out to Spates. Six to shoot. And it's Golden State. Oh, damn. Spates yet again. They found the weakness in the defense, and they're exploiting it to a T. Not often you see a team rely on that shot like they have. Now here's Mayo. There's 18 seconds left to play. Oh, I thought he was going to pass it to him. It's fucking up. Kicks it to Parker. Takes a shot at the elbow. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Here's Barnes. No good. Damn it. And as we end the third quarter, a double digit. All right. Deficit. We're doing good. I did not do that. The Warriors on top. They lead by 12. All right. To get the fourth quarter. Well, you never know. The Bucks could make a comeback. Assist of the game. Well, it had to be this play, don't you think, Kevin? Sure. This is just a phenomenal pass. Made the defense look like they had no idea what was going on. What precision with that pass. Beautiful. Warriors leading by Sorry, 12. I thought I was playing the court combat. The here in the fourth. Thompson and Barnes, the two and three. Down low, it's green and bogus. That's a lot of space. That was a lot of space. Might as well just take it into his own hands and make that big lead even bigger. And the Bucks, they're shooting reasonably well, 45%. Here's Carter Williams. What the fuck, Sean Livingston? Rebound goes to the Warriors. Bogut's got his sixth rebound on the night. Livingston passes to Green. Bogut sets a screen for Barnes. Feeds it to Livingston. Now the pass to Thompson. Shot clock at six. Green dishes to Bogut. And another basket for Golden State. That time the defenders were a little lazy getting to him. Bucks trail by 17. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Here's Middleton. He dishes it to... No! Fuck! No! God damn it! Oh, you piece of shit! And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Warriors. Their activity at the defensive end, Kevin, has been really impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. Something else they've done is force a lot of mistakes defensively. And they've been turning those turnovers into points. Stephen Curry's checked in for the Warriors. Out to Thompson. No, please. Yeah, that's what I want. Curry against Carter Williams. Oh. The dish to Barnes. He feeds it to Bogut. Six to shoot. We have a step back and another basket for Golden State. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Oh, come on, Jason Kidd. Why you got to call a timeout right now? Yeah, he definitely saw some things. You know, I, I, I don't got time. And now he's going to make some adjustments. I'm not sure what it was, but he clearly wanted something to change out there. Milwaukee making a switch. Parker's checked in. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Jason Kidd was saying to his team. Guys, I know we've been battling. You may feel a little bit gassed. Damn it. We've got to dig deep right now and find a way. Take a deep Get back over there. And let's get it done. Kevin? Here's Middleton. It's rebounded by Curry. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. I mean, they're really pushing them around physically at this point. You know, from that in-between range, they've actually been the much hotter team. Well, when you make perimeter shots and knock down those jumpers, it opens up everything else. But Julia, no luck. Boy, the pick, and with that weak screen, I use that term loosely, did nothing to spring him open. It was ineffective. Curry with it. He kicks to Green. Oh! Carter Williams. 
did that not bounce off of his shoe? Third minute of action. Wouldn't that still be considered a kick the ball? I swear, every time that happened in in my what, in my player, every time the ball even touched my person's foot, it would get called a kick ball. I mean, come on now. One forty nine left in the fourth quarter. Just four to shoot. Fires from eighteen. Shots good by Middleton. Okay, now see that was a great shot and it's good that he made it, but Michael Carter Williams was open, so I don't know why he didn't pass it. It's Curry with the drive. Oh, step back. And there are the you got it. now with another bucket. They're earning their points with the jump shot now. Yeah, uh, six of their last ten points coming in that in between range. Oh, what? Carter Williams kicks to Parker. Back to Carter Williams. Hey guys, the league has taken some steps to pick up the pace of the game. Over the last decade, we've seen a lot of rule changes with hand checks and zone defenses and tightening up flagrant foul rules and physical play in general. Well, this is going to end in a lopsided victory, obviously. I love the tenacity and aggressiveness and the ability to close. You really have to give it up for the Warriors. And Clark, their hard work on the glass paid off. You know, they both are excellent rebounding teams. I thought it was a tough battle underneath both ways. And what a huge standout performance it was for Andrew Bogan. He was really everywhere, defensively, offensively. The total effort we saw from him, I think, was the difference. Now here's Curry. Green dishes to Thompson. Bogut down low. Over Pachulia on the money with the open jumper. And the Warriors lead by 17. Well, guys, tonight they came in here and really dictated the terms of the engagement, which is very difficult to do as the visitors. You're right. That's not usually the way things work in the NBA. It's a great win, and no question, it's going to be a happy plane ride out of here. Carter Williams kicks to Onda Takumbo. Trying his luck deep. Carter Williams can't get it to go. And here is Curry. See the Warriors taking the game here. 